I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, I will present uh, problem number three in uh, uh, for mathematical induction. Here's the problem. Let's assume you have a certain number of lines on the plane. Um, and we will assume that there are no parallel lines, and there are no lines which cross, uh, no, no more than two lines are crossing in any uh, particular point. So I am excluding uh, this case when there are parallel lines, and I'm excluding case when three lines are crossing in exactly the same point. So this is not happening. We have only non-parallel lines which are uh, with, with, with crossings of no more than two lines at any point. Question is, how many cross points we have in, 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 in case of n lines? Well, in case of one line, obviously we have no crossing. In case of two lines, obviously we have only one crossing, right? Two lines are crossing at only one point. No parallels. In case of three lines, so this is N and this is cross. Uh, in case of three lines, as you see here, we have three crossings. Well, let's just go on in case of four. Well, four actually does something like this, right? It's not parallel to anything, which means it's crossing anything. I added one to three points, so I have six. So these are my sequences. Um, it looks like, it looks like, um, the formula should be very easy, and um, I'll just give it to you, and uh, you will try to prove it. The formula is n times n minus one divided by two. Let's check it. For one, it's zero because this is zero. For two. This is 2, this is 1, divided by 2, it's 1. For 3, 3 times 2 divided by 2, it's 3. And for 4, 4 times 3, uh, 12 divided by 2, 6. All right, so that seems to be like, like with right formula. Okay, try to prove it using the method of mathematical induction. Uh, press the pause button and do it yourself. And uh, I will try to prove it here. Okay, so the formula is n lines, no parallels, and uh, cross two lines only. No three lines are crossing at the same point. And the formula which I would like to prove is that the number of crossing points is this. All right, let's go through the steps. Step number one, check. Well, we have already checked for one, two, and three. Uh, formula actually holds, so the check is fine. Let's say for n is equal to one, for one line. The formula is zero, no crossings, because there's only one line. We did that. Okay. Assume, what do we assume? That n lines of that type cross in, sorry, let's do this one. K lines. I don't want to use n anymore. Let's assume that n is equal to k. So we have k, k lines 
are crossing in k times k minus 1 divided by 2 points. And 3, we have to check that the formula is correct for n is equal to k plus 1. So let's just draw another line. We have k lines. We draw another line. As I said, no parallel lines, which means this new line will cross each and every one of those old lines. Now, all these crossings will be new because no old cross points should be crossed again because I said no more than two lines are crossing in the same point. So whenever we draw the next line, the k plus first line, it crosses all the old lines, which means it introduces new k points of crossing. So when I have n equals to k plus 1, I actually add k points, crossing points. Well, let's see if our formula will, will be held in this particular case. So we used to have, we assume that k lines by themselves are crossing in k times k plus minus 1 divided by two lines. I introduced k new points. And how the formula will look? Well, that's easy. It's k times k minus 1 plus 2k divided by 2 equals k. Let's factor out k. And what will be? Will be k minus 1 plus 2, which is k plus 1. Divide by 2. Now, let me just rewrite this formula slightly differently. Since I need space, I will wipe out this. Instead of k, I will use k plus 1 minus 1. That's the same thing, right? So, I assume that my formula for n equals to k looks like this. And for n equals to k plus 1, we derive that the formula looks like this. But as you see, this is exactly the same formula, right? k plus 1, this is instead of n, we put k plus 1. So the formula looks exactly the same way. It's number n. Whatever the n is in this case, in this case it's k plus 1, in this case it's k. Same number n, minus 1. So the formula is exactly the same. So for n is equal to k, it's this one. And for n is equal to k plus 1, formula has exactly the same form and shape. So the formula holds. And that actually proves the whole point. So if you have n lines on the, uh, on, on the plane, they cross under these conditions, obviously, no parallels and uh, no more than two lines are crossing at the same point. So they cross each other in um, n times n minus 1 divided by two points. And now here is an interesting thing. If you remember, if you um, looked at the lecture with, which we started mathematical induction with, um, we started with a summation example um, which uh, young Carl Gauss when he was seven years old, he added up numbers from one to 100. And obviously, what happens with lines on the plane is exactly the same as what happens with numbers if you are adding numbers from one to n. Why? Because each new crossing 
is introducing the next number in this summation. So if you have one line, you have zero crossing. If you have two lines, it introduces um, crossing with old lines. If you have three lines, it introduces new two crossings with old two lines. If you have four lines, it introduces three new crossings with three new lines. So as you see, this is exactly the same thing. So if you have n, that's n minus 1, actually. So the, sum, so the number of crossings, uh, if you have n lines, is a sum from this to this. And that would be exactly the same formula. Okay, that basically concludes this problem number three. Thank you very much.